The hammerhead shark is easily one of the weirdest looking animals in the world. Julien Barros, a French ocean engineer at Florida Atlantic University, has set out to quantify the hydrodynamic performance of the cephalofoil, a fancy word for the shark's unique foil-like head. In collaboration with scientists from the FAU Department of Biological Sciences, Julian analyzes the motion of various species of shark. Shown here is the bonnethead shark. In these tests, an electric dipole is used to create a small electric field. The hammerheads, using a unique sense called electroreception, interpret the field as potential prey and move in for a nibble. To replicate the shape of the cephalofoils, real shark heads are mapped using a CAT scan. The result is three-dimensional images of the black nose, the bonnet head, the great hammerhead, and the wing head shark. Using computer-aided design software and a CNC machine, synthetic reproductions of each head are made. The replicas are made of syntactic foam, reinforced with fiberglass, and painted black to aid in flow visualization. The replica heads are mounted to a custom-made robotic apparatus that measures the forces exerted by the cephalofoil. A small motor is used to turn the head back and forth while the tow carriage drives along the tank. The head is angled such that the cephalofoil experiences a flow at an angle of attack. This angle is determined by analyzing real sharks swimming naturally. The result is upward lift that is similar to that found in an airplane. Julian uses a computer to control the forward speed and rotation rate of the heads while also measuring the hydrodynamic forces exerted on them. Additionally, using a technique called particle image velocimetry, laser beams are projected through the fluid and the flow field around the cephalofoil can be defined. Multiple runs are recorded for each shark head at the various forward speeds and rotation rates associated with different swimming conditions. The process is completely automated. The tow carriage resets itself after each run and transfers the data onto a storage disk for later analysis. The end goal is to accurately replicate the hydrodynamic conditions in an effort to better understand and quantify how the hammerhead benefits from its unique body. It is through collaboration, in this case between biologists and engineers, that we will continue to better understand our own environment. Also, by spending more time learning about sharks, we will realize that they aren't so mean after all. I am a nice shark, not a mindless eating machine.